So as all of you know, when you're presenting material to an audience, numbers don't mean anything until I, as the presenter or the facilitator, give them meaning. Until I tell you a story with these numbers, they're meaningless, yes? So let's start by giving some meaning to these numbers. That first number right on the top, 11, here's what that is. That's how many meetings happen every day in the United States of America. Okay, a lot of meetings. Second number, that's the average numbers of meetings that someone in the corporate environment, such as you, such as me, have to sit through. Conference calls, presentations, your boss calls you in and says, hey, we need to talk about such and such. 61.8, so if you average that five days a week, what is that? Almost three meetings a day. For you at your organization, is it more or less than three meetings a day, would you say? More, okay. HR, a lot of meetings. Okay. Some companies say a little bit less, some say a lot more. So that's a lot of meetings, three a day. 37, that's the percentage of our work week that someone like you, someone like me spends in meetings. 37% of the time. So you at your organization is a little more, a little less than that. What do you think? About right? More. more. Okay, more, a little bit less. Good, so these last two numbers, this is where it gets really interesting. Because those top three tell us we spend a lot of our work week listening to people present, listening to people communicate. These last two numbers, here's where it all comes into play. Look at this, number 91, here's what that is. That's the percentage of people who admit to daydreaming, <laughs> thinking about something other than what they're talking about in that presentation. And it doesn't get any better. 39, here's what that is. That's the uh, percentage of people who admit to falling asleep <laughs> or dozing off on that conference call. So what this tells us, those bottom two numbers is, a lot of people out there are running meetings, giving presentations, and they're not engaging their audience. On this handout, we handed out to you beforehand, there's a question in an orange box. And the question we start out with is this. If your audience is bored during your presentation, whose fault is that? Always the presenter, always the facilitator. Okay? The burden of engagement lies with you as the presenter. So for the next hour, if I look out here and even one of you is not engaged with what we're talking about, not your fault, my fault. 